Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So today we're going to be talking about rubbish. I do not want, well that's maybe, is that a bit harsh? Rubbish, should we say? Makeup. Makeup I'm not interested in. That's nicer to say, isn't it? So these are new releases that are coming up or that have just come up that have just been released, that are about to be released, that I have no interest, that are just a, a straight up, no thank you, definitely not, wouldn't have thought so, not for me. So first up, the Amorphe by James Charles mini collection. I think the original Morphe by James Charles palette was in another one of these no thank you type of videos. So what I do appreciate about it is if the original palette was too much for you, I feel like James Charles' audience is very, very young. Um, you know, teenagers who are starting out in makeup and, you know, he's really inspiring to them. So obviously the smaller palette is much less money. So that's really, really good. It also does have a mirror in it, which is great for travel. So I feel like for lots of people it's going to be fantastic but it is definitely not going to be for me you know me this is not my colors this is not my type of palette at all um so yeah definitely an easy pass for me next up the mac holiday collection i feel like i'm just gonna straight pass on that entire collection for the first time in maybe four or five years every year the mac holiday christmas collection whatever you want to call it is one of the highlights of my year. I buy several pieces from it every year. I'm very excited for it. It's always like one of the best looking collections for me personally of the year. This year, I'm just so uninspired by it. There's nothing in there at all that excites me. I feel like the starry lipsticks are just really gimmicky and not shades that I'm ever gonna really put on my lips. The face palettes, actually look beautiful but I feel like I buy the MAC face palette every year um, and I still have last year's and I love it don't get me wrong I really like it I always recommend those palettes I think they're great quality one of MAC's best standout products in my opinion are those holiday face palettes however I have them uh, the, this year some of the shades in those palettes are actually permanent shades so you're not really missing out on something if you don't pick up the specific palette that is the highlight of that collection for me but I have face palettes coming out of my ears including MAC ones especially so I just don't feel like I need any of it the packaging this year is pretty unexciting as well again usually MAC's packaging their holiday packaging is always gorgeous sparkly christmas glitter shiny and this year it's just like oh okay it's fine but it just looks like any one of their collabs it doesn't look like their holiday collection to me so that whole collection is a pass this Kat Von D eyeshadow palette nothing about this excites me it just looks like shades I already have coming out of my ears I'm not 100% well I know nothing really about Kat's eyeshadow formula I'm sure it's fine is it better than the palettes I already own that kind of have these shades already no probably not the Nabla highlights these look divine don't get me wrong, and I'm exceedingly excited about the bronze. Um, that shade in particular, the thought of that on just really deep, glorious skin tones, <sighs> that is great. I love the fact they've brought out highlights for different skin tones and they look like they will be just gorgeous on each skin tone as well. But for me personally, I don't need another highlight ever, especially not like a single highlight of a vet you know a varying different shade of the ones i already have i just don't need it so for me a highlight in a, a single highlight right now it's gonna have to do the highlights in my hair that's what it's gonna have to do in order for me to be really excited about it it's gonna have to do the highlights in my hair and highlight my whole face and everyone's i know and it's gonna have to do it for me otherwise what what's it got that i don't already have at this point the pat mcgrath quads i've been asked a lot about these as to whether i'm picking them up and i don't plan to pick any of them up um i'm not really one for singles anymore so when i'm if i'm going to buy a palette i want it to have mattes and shimmers and looks and options in there and obviously these quads are not really that kind of palettes they're like four of her they're four of her glorious stunning 
like special shadows and don't get me wrong they'll be glorious they'll be everything they'll be stunning but i have a palette a large palette from pat mcgrath which i'm obsessed with which i love which does all the things i need it to do and these quads for me don't really do another thing that i need if they had some mattes if it was four mattes you better believe I'd be straight up in there. But the four shimmers, you know, I've got shimmers that are just as stunning as the shimmers in those mini quads. And actually I prefer the shades that I already have. Pat's highlight creams. I don't know what's going on here, but they do not appear to be for me. When I heard she was bringing out highlight creams, I was like, yep, I'll be getting them. And then I saw the swatches and they look more like high fashion. Obviously, Pat does a lot of runway editorial looks. So that makes perfect sense, but it doesn't make perfect sense for me to put those on my face and go to the supermarket. I mean, if you want to, heaven knows, I will high five you in the juice aisle, but uh, it's not gonna be for me. On the school run, people will think that the children have done some done my makeup that morning with their paints or something it's just it's too much they're very glittery the colors of them i can't see looking good on me i feel like the gold one again on deeper skin oh yeah oh yeah that was very um austin powers for a second but anyway um i feel like they're too out there too too fashion editorial slash exciting and too glittery for for me i don't know if it's just because what the swatches i've seen are done under pat's you know famous lighting and filter where everything is like glittering as if there's some kind of sparkly atomic bomb has gone off so maybe actually in in reality they aren't as crazy as they look but to me the color and the amount of glitter in there is it's a it's a no from me. Jouer's Holiday Palette. Something about the shapes in here. It gives me anxiety. It makes me a little, ooh, mm, why, are they, why are they cut in half there? Why, are they, why does it look like there's been some kind of production incident in the lab? I don't understand. I don't like these weird, I just want circles or squares or a rectangle that's acceptable these things it doesn't appeal i don't know what it is my eyes don't like them these shapes they don't like it i look at it and it just is immediately unappetizing to me um but again i there's nothing in here i don't have 48 of so that's an easy pass i'm sure it will be beautiful and lovely but it's not beautiful and lovely enough and different enough to what i already own and the shapes are a no for me these huda minis if you don't have any huda palettes i think these will be a great purchase i've seen um my friend mel use these i've seen lots of lovely looks with these they look very very pretty i love that there are three palettes um targeting light skin medium skin deep skin i love all of that i love all of it it's great they're beautiful but as i have the desert dusk and the huda beauty nudes palette I feel like I've got everything I need to get from her in this kind of tone category. I definitely feel like I already have all of these shades in the new nudes in Huda's formula, which I do really love that palette. But yeah, to me, when I have that palette, these minis don't offer me anything else that makes me want to pick it up. Any advent calendar, any of them. I've yet to see one where the contents and the price makes me want to buy it you know like don't get me wrong again if one turns up on my door if someone wants to buy one for me i will snatch it out of their hands and rip that thing to pieces i will love it but again if when well, these these things cost like a hundred plus pounds right and it's all just samples of things most of them some of them are better and they have some full size products but then they're five million pounds so again i'd rather just take that money and buy the few things that I want rather than all these teeny things that are half of which I'm not going to enjoy and they're going to last me one week and I didn't get to choose them what would be great is if you could have an advent calendar that you chose 
you know what goes in it yourself but at the moment this year there's none that have really impressed me enough at a price point where I'd rather buy that and get all of the mini stuff than spend that money on some full sizes of everything I've chosen if that makes sense so yeah if you have seen a phenomenal advent calendar hit us up in the comments because I've yet to see one this year that made my heart leap out of my throat which is what I look for in an advent calendar at this moment I'd just rather have my Lindor one to be honest next up this Nikita Dragon face palette oh did this remind anybody else of that episode of friends where Phoebe makes those paintings of like ladies and she gifts one to Monica and it's like who's going to keep it Monica or Rachel and they're arguing over who has to have this monstrosity of a painting that's what this packaging immediately made me think of when I saw it I was like did Phoebe have a hand in this design I don't know <sighs> who what who wants that in their bedroom at night when it's dark sitting there on their counter I just don't I don't know not me not me that is for sure and actually what's inside of it no thank you so there you have it that is everything i'm saving my money from this month or in the last few weeks or the next few weeks i'd love to know what you guys are picking up and not what you are avoiding like the plague hit me up in the comments as always i hope you enjoyed this video and i would love to see you in the next one otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye, bye.